garage door doesn't go all the way down. At times the garage door misbehaves due to one, or more, of the following reasons. 1. Garage door sensors were accidentally hit by moving people or objects. 2. Too much humidity over a period of time. 3. Lose electric wires or contacts. 4. Too much heat or cold causing tracks to derail. 5. Aging brackets, sensors, or mechanical moving parts. When troubleshooting the problem, garage door doesn't go all the way down. Make sure that all possible problems are eliminated, eventually the problem will be fixed. Here is a quick fix for the above mentioned problems. 1. Make sure that the infrared IR sensors are aligned. If they get hit accidentally then the IR beam would be misaligned and the receiver IR sensor thinks that there is an object under the garage. It then automatically lifts the door up before reaching the ground. You may need to gently twist the transmitter and or the receiver IR sensors by hand. You may need to loosen the screws and tighten them after alignment is established. By aligning and intentionally misaligning the IR transmitter and receiver sensors you can tell when the sensors get aligned. The IR receiver LED, mostly the green LED, will let steady when alignment is established. At times the sunlight may reach the IR receiver sensor and causes the garage door to misbehave. Use your creativity to shield sunlight from reaching the IR receiver sensor. 2. Humidity may build up corrosion on garage tracks or on other moving parts. Corrosion may produce friction and slow down the garage movement. This friction causes the motor to reverse direction. You may need to use WD-40 and make sure that friction is eliminated. You may also need to slightly and gently bend the tracks to help the rollers inside the tracks move freely with no friction. Make sure that any potential friction is eliminated by spraying the tracks from inside and chain. You may need to spray the chain at the area where it meets with the motor gear on the motor box. 3. Loose electric wires or contacts may result on the motor unit or on the sensors near the ground level. Make sure that the contacts are holding on the wires by gently pulling the wires away from the motor and sensors. If wires come out easily then ensure that they are tightened in properly. 4. Excessive heat or cold may cause the tracks or mechanical brackets to produce friction. This problem may sound similar to excessive humidity above. Ensure that the tracks and joints are not producing any mechanical friction when the garage moves down or up. In the worst case you may need to increase the motor force that is pushing down the garage door by twisting the screw on the motor unit. Incrementally until the motor force have reached the proper pushing force. This proper force causes the garage door to move to the right location up or down. 5. Aging parts can be identified and replaced. By going through infrared IR sensors, alignment, friction, and intact wires the problem can be identified by eliminating each at once. Go through the above list and make sure that all electrical mechanical problems have been resolved. You may use your TV IR remote control and point it at the IR receiver of your garage door. If the IR receiver sensor of your garage door responds to the TV IR remote control then your garage receiver IR sensor is in good shape. IR sensors may reach end of life, replace them. You may also swap IR sensors between good garage and suspect garage to identify which part is damaged. Wires may get broken by animals biting on them or accidental excessive pulling force. Get new wires. Always keep WD-40 water displacing oil spray handy because you never know when you need it for your home quick fixes.